Peace and soul, y'all. What's up? I'm back. Ruby, I'm so sorry. My phone lately, trying to upload these videos. My phone has been acting up. <clears throat> but I'm using my tablet right now. So the video quality is going to be less, you know, less visible as, as with the phone. So just bear with me. But Ruby, your story is unfolding. Okay, I'm looking at this like, hold on. Okay, yeah. This is how you feel after a heartbreak. You've been heartbroken. Look at this sword being pierced. Okay, it's piercing this person right here. And then the three of swords is the what? The heartbreak, right? Holding his heart, right? Got his hand in the water, dealing with your emotions. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And then this heart here is broken. Right? But new love abounds. You're refusing to see that you basically dodged a bullet, you could say. Yeah. And that something so much better for you is coming in. Where it cut off at, I was reading the Astrology Destiny card, right? Okay. Yes, you can create your own destiny, but it is the stars that point you in the right direction. So go seek out the astrological map of the journey of your life. For by doing so, many answers will be revealed to you. Not only will you be fascinated, you will also find that which you have been searching for all this time. Incantation. Star of wonder, star so bright. My soul doth shine both day and night. I look up through the galaxy and step into my destiny. Visit an accredited astrologer to have your astro astrological chart read. Enjoy stargazing. Learn about the planets and how their alignments affect you, which I think you probably already have done because you seem to know your whole chart already. So maybe this is telling you even that this is a gift for you that, you know, maybe you need to start actually doing this. Okay. And in you doing so, you know, you're, you're, you're going on your, on your life's path. You're finding your life's path. Okay. And in doing so, you're going all the, and then underlying too, was release your ex. Okay. Subconsciously. So whether you're single or you with someone and you, this relationship may not be working out. Just know that someone is definitely coming in who has been ordained to come into your life. This is your destiny. Right? Yep. Take bold steps so cho towards your chosen destiny and go for it. Okay? And then I said, I got to read. There's something better. Heaven has something wonderful in mind for you. However, it's not the same thing you have planned. Ask yourself, would you would rather have the very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much happier and much more fulfilled? Sometimes God has joys in store for us that we could never imagine on our own. Open your mind and heart to the possibility that you deserve even more than what you're asking for. Trust your angels to guide you in new and exciting directions. New, 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 okay, new, new. And then I was saying as well, right, the twin flame, you that religious factors, like I said, screams twin flame to me. You got the tree of life. Okay, this is something that is forged in the cosmos. This is the different realms. And and I and I was saying too with the dreaming. 
the lucid dreaming, okay? This is us in the lowest route right now in 3D. And you and your beloved may be communicating in 5D. Or oh, it's going to start. Right? We got, we in eclipse season right now. We just had the Leo. We just had the Leo, um, full moon, lunar eclipse with the, with the comet event. Okay. And then you got honeymoon. So maybe this, this next, um, lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is this, which is the high priestess. Okay. That's the Pisces card right here. This is the, the two pillars, yo. Something is going to happen. Maybe around with that lunar eclipse. Yep. Something so much better for you. You know? Come away from this to this. Or even something prosperous around work, too, as well. Mm. So many possibilities. Heart and soul. Oh, look. I need to read heart and soul for you. This is D. I also pulled the goddess card for you. Medicine woman. You see? You are you are a healer. High priestess energy. 11 number. You are here. You are a channel for divine healing power. And your, and your, your spiritual gifts are going to start coming online. Okay. Once you start clearing out karmically things that you just got to learn from and then just move on from it. Yep. Heart and soul. You are blessed and guided by the eternal spirit of love. A positive transformation is occurring in your life this very moment. Choose, close your eyes and feel yourself bathed in the love which stems from the heart of the goddess. This card is confirmation that all is unfolding as it should. There is no need for concern, so stop taking things so seriously and trust. All unfolds in perfect harmony. Life is always full of opportunity. I am guided and protected. I surrender my concerns to the goddess of eternal life. And this is too. This is... Got the helmet down. It's time to end that fight. Time to end that fight. You know, what goes around comes around. You know, you down now, but now things is it's about to switch. It's about to go up. It's about to go up. Yep. Either you're going to be moving away from this feeling of lack. You know, being pushed away and then also being repulsed. You know, by someone and finding true love, finding new love, finding a spiritual love that you're going to be bringing down from the cosmos, that you're going to be bringing down from the heavens. See, and then that looked like a full moon in there, too. But the eclipse in Pisces, that's going to be new moon. So, yep. Yep, because once you clear out that karma, you're going to be more stable. Okay? And, and you're going to be able to, to see past the illusions. Yeah, you're going to be able to see past the illusions once and for all. Once you pick your head up, once you pick your head up from this, you know... And once you bring the love back to yourself, you have to bring the love back to yourself first. You know, because this has been ordained, you know. And your love life is in, is influenced. Yeah, yeah, twin flame. Twin flame. I'm sorry. It's screaming twin flame. It's, it's, it's no other way around it. 
I feel like pulling something else as a clarifier because I'm like, okay, hold on. This deck has a twin flame card in it. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Yep, a divine union, a spiritual union. You know, that you forged before you got here. That wants to come down in order to cleanse out the ancestral blood and heritage. It's, it's so much bigger than you if this is your path. Real day. If not, it's a divine partner. You know, where there's going to be still growth. You know, there's going to be a communication of love. They, they're not going to hold back their love for you. And you're not going to hold back your love for them. It's going to be free. It's not going to be, you know, restrictive. Yeah. Let's see, Ruby. Let's see. Ascended Masters. Send Ruby onto her spiritual path and journey to find not only the love of herself, but the love of another. Another soul that is seeking you. Just as like you seeking love, love is seeking you too. It's looking for you too. And yoga, clear your energy fields, and this is this is this is fruitful fertility. Yep. Once you clear out, as I said, clear out this this karmic situation. Once you clear that out, a new love is. This is, I said, new love. And that's the third card. Third time is the charm. Okay. Clear your energy, Phil. Clear it out. <laughs> to be able to bring in this twin flame. Clear out that karmic energy. Release your ex. Say no more. Said so done. You are a divine healer. Your love life is intermingled. <laughs> Welcome to the twin flame <laughs> dynamic. We got another victim. <laughs> we got another victim. Welcome. Please email me and tell me, give me some schematics on what's going on. Because this is deep. This is leaving... Leaving this behind, leaving being rejected and pushed away and broken hearted behind and actually coming into a divine, sacred love. Truly spiritual, truly. Mm. Girl, you got to let me know. Please do, because I'm going to be like this, waiting on edge. This is beautiful, though, and I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, you chose me to do this reading for you. You know, this is special. This is like, wow, maybe you had the inkling to choose a twin flame already or, you know, I mean, nobody else can tell. I always say no one can tell you, but the reading, this is what the reading is pointing to. And like I said, if it's not a quote-unquote twin flame dynamic is definitely a, something that is divine you know and that's beautiful and that's worthy of pursuing so much love to you and i hope that you enjoyed this peace